The Obama administration is pushing back against New Yorkers who say the White House is shortchanging Homeland Security funding. The White House is insisting the Big Apple is sitting on $275 million it says it has in unspent cash. That's not sitting very well with our next guest. Two weeks to the day, an SUV that was packed with explosives meant to detonate in the heart of Times Square. New York Congressman Peter King is joining me, a ranking member of the House Homeland Security Committee. Congressman, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Jamie. I have to clear something up first of all. The Obama administration and the Homeland Security Secretary, Janet Napolitano, says there's plenty of money in New York. In fact, you have money that you didn't spend. Is that money truly available, and is that money that renews each year that we would have to keep New Yorkers and all the millions of tourists that come every year safe? Jamie, there's several issues here. One, no, the $275 million is not there for New York to take. In fact, if it, last night was the first time that the Obama administration or anyone has ever even made this argument. I met with Secretary Napolitano on Thursday morning. She never even mentioned this to me. What they are talking about, all they can be talking about, is money that's going through the funding process, money which is being delayed by the Department of Homeland Security itself. One quick example. There's a $38 million grant to harden the path tunnel from New Jersey to New York. That was supposedly made available in 2008. We can't get a penny of that because the department has not yet completed its environmental impact statement because that's an historic tunnel. So any money that has not been used, it's because it's being held up in their bureaucracy. And for them to take this cheap shot is really disgraceful. Uh, do you really think Mayor Bloomberg will be holding $275 million in the bank with all the terrible economic crisis that face New York and the terrible security crises that face us? Well, I know you're troubled by the timing of this, even the administration making this argument now, two weeks after so many people could have been killed in Times Square if that bomb had gone off. You know, I'm troubled by the fact that we're even having the discussion and letting the terrorists know that right. there's a bit of shortage of cash, that we don't have radioactive monitors or sensors in New York City that I know you want additional funding for. And, and Senator Schumer agrees with you. Absolutely. This should be a nonpartisan or bipartisan issue. It's, it should be an American issue. Yes, uh, Commissioner Kelly wants another $20 million to put radioactive detectors, radiation detectors around Manhattan to protect New York from a radioactive dirty bomb. The President of the United States took every penny of that away. There was not one penny in his budget for that this year, even though the city needs it, because we know, as was proven uh, two weeks ago, that the next attack will come from outside Manhattan, from either the suburbs, New Jersey, or Connecticut. And next time, if it was with a dirty bomb, it'll be uh, catastrophic. And yet, that program is there, and the President has eliminated all funding for it. And he comes to New York on Thursday, tells the mayor what a great job he's doing, gets a police jacket from the uh, police department so he can get a good photo op with the cops. And then the next day, his Homeland Security Secretary, at quarter to five in the afternoon, sends out a phony letter saying that New York is actually holding on to money and not spending it. This C is the Congressman height of hypocrisy King. and really dangerous. But before I let you go, I have to ask you about other states, because people watch us all around not only this country, but a lot of our troops serving overseas to keep us safe from terrorists that mm. want to come to the United States, watch the Fox News Channel, too. Are other states that are known as potential terror targets in the same boat, are they getting the money they need? No, it's interesting. The states that need it are not getting all they need, but other states which will never need it in a million years are getting Homeland Security funding. They are getting grants. They are getting uh, funds to use, even though they are not tar uh, terror targets at all. So this whole system has to be changed. New York is clearly the number one target, but obviously you have other targets. I'm not going to go through the names, but there's others which are targets. None of the real targeted cities and areas are getting the money they need. We have not made the real commitment to that. Instead, we spread the money around the country as if it's just political payoffs to give out. Congressman King, I know you are in Washington looking out for our safety. I would call the American people to contact their representatives, too, and ask how much funding they're getting and whether it's sufficient so that they know what they need to do to keep themselves safe. Thank you so much, Congressman P. King. Jamie, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Tonight, a fight over counterterrorism funding for New York City. Earlier this week, New York politicians were howling about a huge cut in federal anti-terror funding for the city. Today, the Obama administration fired back saying New York is sitting on an unspent pile of homeland security dollars, hundreds of millions. Tom Yamas joins us now with the latest on all this. Tom. Chuck and Sue, we all know that we need money for security cameras in the subway, more money to make the port safer. And tonight, the DHS says the money's there. Nobody's asking for it. 
An official with the Department of Homeland Security tells News 4 New York more than a quarter of a billion dollars allocated to protect New York is not being used. DHS Secretary Janet Napolitano sent a letter to New York's elected officials saying she's concerned that more than $275 million in federal funding for New York City's port and transit security since 2006 has not yet been drawn down. In fact, New York has yet to draw down on any of the transit funding it received last year. I met with Secretary Napolitano yesterday talking about this grant. She never said a word about anything like this at all. The letter was addressed to Congressman Peter King, but also sent out to the rest of the New York delegation, the mayor and the governor. I have no idea where they're coming from. This is obviously a cheap shot. This is uh, totally indefensible what they're doing. The war of words over security funding for New York started earlier in the week with reports DHS was cutting funding for transit and port security. Some of the funding decisions made by this administration have been mind-numbingly, insanely wrong. But since then, the White House and DHS have been on the offensive. They say New York still gets the most for security, and on Thursday, the president met with the NYPD to thank them for their handling of the Times Square bomb scare. We want to make sure that we continue to work with you to get the resources. And for the Obama administration, that does mean $275 million someone in New York either overlooked or was unaware of. Mayor Bloomberg put out this comment, which highlights the bureaucratic battle involved in keeping New York City safe. He says, while the funds the Department of Homeland Security are referring to were not earmarked for city agencies, there are tens of millions of dollars for the NYPD and FDNY waiting for approval by FEMA. Officials at DHS and here in New York say this is a long process dealing with FEMA. You apply for money, you don't see it for a couple of years. There are several transit and port agencies, I'm sure, are scratching their heads tonight, either wondering how to get that money or wondering why they haven't applied for that money yet. DHS says the money is there, they just have to apply for it. So how accessible is it? You know, I asked an official at DHS, as I said, is it sitting in a bank somewhere, like you can just take it out? like an ATM card, they said, no, they got to apply with FEMA. So it does take a little time, and DHS acknowledges that with FEMA, things do take a little, little bit of a time. But if they need to apply for the money, if they need the money, they have to put those applications in. They said those applications aren't in yet. All right, Tom, Tom thank you. But we begin tonight with a battle over money. And this week, local officials cried foul about cuts to federal security funding. Tonight, the feds are firing back, claiming New York is sitting on a huge stash of anti-terror money and not using it. So who's right? I was news reporter Jeff Begay says our lead story. He's in Times Square tonight. Jeff. Who's right, Liz? Depends on who you talk to. Almost two weeks of the day, that failed bombing attempt here in Times Square. Lawmakers are locked in a fight over funding that's only intensifying. Late today, the Department of Homeland Security suggested they're not the problem when it comes to security funding. Federal officials blame the city for sitting on a pile of money and not using it. A letter from Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano was addressed to Republican Congressman Peter King and says, quote, we are concerned that more than $275 million in federal funding has not yet been drawn down. According to DHS, the money was earmarked for city port and transit security four years ago. Congressman King says he wasn't aware that the money existed and wonders why the administration didn't speak up sooner. The fact is they're coming up with a totally phony charge, a phony attempt by the department to cover for the fact that they cut money from New York. Congressman King has been one of the Obama administration's harshest critics on the issue. He and Senator Chuck Schumer have accused the Department of Homeland Security of shortchanging the city on its share of anti-terror funds. You can, you know, play games with the numbers in any way you want. There is no question by any objective standard that New York gets less money than we should, being the number one terror target. Controversy cast a shadow over the president's visit to NYPD headquarters on Thursday as Mr. Obama thanked law enforcement for their efforts in the failed Times Square bombing attempt. The debate is certain to continue because now New York officials say they can't spend the $275 million because it's being held up by the federal bureaucracy. But in a statement, the mayor's office seemed to extend an olive branch. Quote, we look forward to working with DHS to speed up the FEMA approvals necessary to release the money we need for important security projects.